Oh, 
nervous or agit. We're glad that you could be here today. And this song was chosen by the team on 22 to, uh, to reflect a part of who she was and you know, to them. And I'm hoping that you saw a part of her as you listened to the song. Today we're meeting to remember Ajit and to grieve together, to kind of break the, the silence, to break the isolation of grief so that we can be together. In December 2010, Ajit Kaur passed away. And there's mystery around her past. But we meet together today to celebrate her life and to find some comfort in one in another. We are human beings who share this life's journey and we feel the need to pause, to be silent, to reflect, to speak, and to grieve the passing of another human being. We meet today because she was one of us and because something about Ajit's life touched us. Today we meet to give and receive peace, hope and love. We meet to remember. I'd like to share a poem with you entitled She is Gone. And afterwards I'm going to read um, a remembrance that someone shared with me. I think it was Deb. And then Suzanne is going to share. And then we're going to open it up for others. What we're going to be doing is kind of creating um, a eulogy for ourselves, a remembrance time. And uh, there'll be uh, another sharing of some remembrances of someone who sent something in to me, and um, followed by some other poems. And uh, that's kind of the order of service today. <coughs> so let me start with the poem and the reading of that, what Deb sent. She is gone. You can shed tears that she is gone, or you can smile because she has lived. You can close your eyes and pray she'll come back, or you can open your eyes and see all she's left. Your heart can be empty because you can't see her, or you can be full of the love you shared. You can turn your back on tomorrow and live yesterday, or you can be happy for tomorrow because of yesterday. You can remember her and only that she's gone, or you can cherish her memory and let it live on. You can cry and close your mind, be empty and turn your back, or you can do what she'd want, smile, open your eyes, love, and go on. So Deb wrote saying, I'm an introvert and can't speak in public. But that doesn't stop me from sending deeply felt fond remembrances of Ajit, always smiling and positive and a joy to work with. On quiet nights, it was uplifting to hear her share the details of her life with me, describing what happened to be many hardships that less brave people would quail at. That she strove to overcome these with quiet dignity, grace, and courage was both uplifting and an example to the rest of us. I thought Ajit was an amazing person, cheerful and generous always. I will miss her very much and always remember her infectious giggle, her laughter, and abject bravery. So sadly, but always fondly remembered. That I worked at Ajit in my life, that she didn't acknowledge that. Mm. And, and always asked me how were things going, if she knew what, what things were, were like. She always was encouraging, mm. supportive, and literally, I can't think of one shift that she didn't remember and, and offer support. And that well, I will treasure. Thank you. 
They never live. If choice were made, there if choice there were, I would not hesitate to choose mortality. Whatever fate demanded in return for life, I'd give for never to have seen the fertile plains, nor hear the winds, nor feel the warm sand, the sun on sands beside the salty sea, nor touch the hands of those I love. Without these, all the gains of timelessness would not be worth one day without living and of love and what may. I searched and found a, a Hindu kind of a thought on um, death, reaffirming the life beyond. In heaven, there is no fear at all. Thou, O death, art not there, nor that place does the thought of growing old make one tremble. There, free from hunger and from thirst, and far from the reach of sorrow, all rejoice and are glad. May that be a comfort to you today, that she doesn't know the fear of growing old, or of the sorrow, or of things that make one tremble, or the hunger, or the thirst. But that she is in a place where they are all rejoice and are glad. Thank you for being here today and for offering to one another a way of honoring her memory. We need to do that for one another because there's a part of her within each of us in some way. So thank you for being here today. And blessings be upon you as you grieve and live on with your memory. I'm going to play the song again. Thank <laughs> you. 